So I know a lot of you out there are having some uh, input lag issues with the new update and the DLC for Streets of Rage 4. Let me just pop into this real quick and just show you all what I mean. Right now I have a PlayStation 4 controller plugged in. So on the main menu, it's uh, using the analog stick to scroll through these options. It's very, very laggy. And sometimes it'll like kind of queue up inputs and just execute them all at once, which is really annoying. But anyways, let me get out of here real quick and show you how you can actually fix this. So when you're looking at the title in your library here, all you gotta do is click controller configuration. Now before I go into that, there has been a fix uh, that has worked for some people and that would be disabling the steam input but for this particular fix you actually need this enabled so you want to go back into here in the properties under controller make sure that that's either default or enabled actually i just leave it on default um, the steam uh, input is um, i'm not entirely sure like what how this interacts with this particular fix but i just leave it on default because that's just been working for me so anyways so from the title here click on controller fig configuration then it'll pop this up now here it actually lets you customize your controller to some degree so the problem is this guy right here the control the analog stick so what we're actually going to do is we're going to assign the analog stick the same directions as the d-pad so we're going to actually just make it behave like a d-pad because the d-pad doesn't actually have that lagging input problem so here we are in here so right now it's set to dis the joystick move click this drop down here i want to scroll down to where is it directional pad boom so when you first uh set this these actually are going to be empty so these are just going to be empty circles so what you want to do is click on each one of these and just click on the corresponding direction you want it to apply to. So I have up, down, left, right. No big deal. And as far as the layout, you want to make sure that eight way is selected because, you know, Streets of Rage is a beat em up. You're going to want to move in eight different directions. So it's basically just going to emulate um, an eight way kind of gate, I guess. So like if you press, you know, down and left, it'll just read that as those two, which is exactly what a diagonal is. Anyways, so you change that go back so you want these to look exactly the same basically and close that then we can hop back in here and there you go it's a nice little workaround for right now until the devs can actually patch the issue but it, the game's playable like this. Like, watch, I can actually just hop into here, do this. Yeah, you know, we don't need to do any of that fancy stuff. So basically, yeah, it just lets you use the analog stick as you normally would. And for some reason, when the analog stick was lagging, it was lagging all of the other inputs as well. But as soon as I applied this, it actually works. And there it is. Anyways, so that's just my little uh, workaround for this issue. And hopefully this can help some of you guys actually play the game because the DLC is a lot of fun and I just don't want anyone to miss out based on just hardware issues and stuff because they can be really frustrating. Anyways, if this video helped you, let me know in the comments or if you have another fix that I don't know about, again, let me know in the comments. Anyways, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.